Thanks for watching. This is Vaticano. Underneath the hustle and bustle of the city of Rome, a secret world is hidden. Here in Rome's Petrus and Marcellinus catacombs, these ancient images have just been given a facelift. The restoration was a collaboration of the Papal Commission for Christian Archaeology and a foundation from Azerbaijan. This is particularly important in a moment of clash of cultures and religions. It is important to have the catacombs which unite, on the one hand, the classical world with the Christian world, and to have a Shiite nation, that is Muslim Shiite, to sustain the Catholicity and Christianity in one of its fundamental symbols, as the catacombs are. This is very important because of uh, um, work of collaboration uh, and uh, with the Islamic uh, world and the Christian world. So this is the, the real uh, big news. <laughs> the work was presented as a symbol of cultural unity of the people. It's a cultural heritage and the culture of every one of us, and so of every culture and every religion. But it is very important in, in this very moment, particularly uh, difficult <laughs> for the situation, the political situation. Rome's catacombs were built by early Christians to bury their dead and they were richly decorated. There are 38 square meters of paintings in Pietre Marcellini. We have restored more than 40 and the last step was much more advanced. We worked with lasers. The frescoes of the catacombs are very fragile. When there's 90% humidity, we've tried different things but have realized that the laser is the most adapt instrument to maintain the color to leave the color intact. Still today, underneath the city of Rome, in over 35 miles of tunnels and endless shafts, countless treasures lay dormant.